So we're gonna go out here with Chris today. This is his bass tracker, and he also actually just got a Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor, which has the spot lock and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go over his first opinions on that. It's actually after our fishing day, but I figured I'd change it up a little bit, make this the intro, just because I wanted to talk about these things for you guys, because hey, it ain't very often that we get to go experience some of these cool new toys. This man got some of the cool toys, so I figured we'd talk about some of them. He hasn't used it much. This was actually his first trip out with it today. You guys will see some of the complications we had with it. We will talk about some of the complications we had with it. But in general, we still had a fun day out on the water. You will see that here shortly. Let's get on to the review, and then we'll get out there fishing. All right, guys, so we got the Minn Kota Tarova here. It's a 55 pound thrust unit. Uh, it, it's got the foot pedal, it's got a remote control. Pretty much we just used the foot pedal today. Now, uh, I bought this particular motor because it has spot lock, and that's a feature I've been wanting for a while. It's really nice to be able to just hit a button right here, go tie your knots, go do what you gotta do to get your rigs ready, walk to the back of the boat, just do whatever you're gonna do and not worry about drifting into stuff. So that did work today, and you'll see that in the video. So that worked fine. There are some things that I wasn't anticipating, um, and, and that's basically the response of the foot pedal and the timing associated with how the head turns in a particular direction. Now I'm used to using more of a mechanically actuated uh, trolling motor, one that has some type of teleflex cable, where when you push down on the front of the trolling motor, that head is gonna spin as fast as you push down the trolling motor. Here, basically, the pedal is like a button here and a button here, and that motor turns the head as far as I can tell at one speed, and that speed is not very quick. So when you are trying to get into a slip in a marina, or if you're trying to unhook your lure that snagged in a bush or something like that, you're gonna see uh, some problems that you might not have run into had you had that faster mechanical coupling. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a little on the fence about how I feel about that. Uh, you know, it may just be a learning curve thing where you gotta come up the learning curve and just know how to work with it, know that it's a thing up front and just plan around it. The other thing that I noticed too is with the foot pedal, it has two buttons here. It's got something for constant. When you hit constant, the trolling motor just goes in whichever direction it's currently pointed. And it is really easy to just come over and accidentally bump that. And when you bump it, what ends up happening is you start going off in some direction you didn't plan on going. So that's a little bit problematic. I'm not really sure how to get around that right now. Again, learning curve. I'm personally gonna do an in-depth review, a more in-depth review uh, after I have some more time on the water with this thing. But first impressions, spot lock works the way I like it. You know, the electric foot pedal and the, uh, the electric motor is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. So we're thinking there may be a way in the controls to increase the speed in which the motor turns. Don't know yet, we'll yeah, find that out. We're gonna have to see. And other than that, it's just a matter of uh, learning some of those tricks of the new trolling motor. We're not saying that it's a bad one, you guys may still like it. Just in first opinions, those are our first opinions. So we just thought you'd let you, we'd let you guys know. The other thing to say really quick, if you don't mind, is that this is a 55 pound thrust motor and that seemed to move the boat sufficiently. Oh, it know. moved us pretty good. And we were some it chop today. It moved the boat sufficiently. And we were some chop today. So you may want to look into it guys, just to let you know, like I said, some big toys that I don't always get to show you guys and talk about. And this is Chris who has his channel for the love of fishing. And I'm also going to have him linked down in the description. So you guys can go check out his channel. He's got some great content. He's an up and coming channel, just started. So if you guys want to head over there and show him some support, man, he'd really appreciate that. <laughs> bait fish too. I know. Where the heck so we just pulled up, guys, and there's already some fish running. <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can't maybe snag some. I've switched back over now to this Weston Smith Money Minnow. It was actually came in, or Magic Minnow, sorry. Came in a mystery tackle box thing. The cool thing here, guys, oh, let me 
crank you down a little so you can see there we go is it's got a pocket up top which this hook goes in which keeps it super weedless the pocket down below to keep the hook from going out or makes the hook go in easier for the hook sets but the cool thing too is this hook is kind of free so it can move with the the actual uh body of the lure a little better oh wow look at that thing in the water that thing looks saucy in the water let's see if we can't snag somebody on that So we haven't been catching any fish. What do you guys think? I should buy one of these things and try fishing out of these things? Fastest fishing trip ever. <laughs> this thing was loud pulling in. All right, so we are rigging up the gar line. I almost couldn't think for a minute. We are rigging up the gar line right now and we're gonna see if maybe we can't catch some gar for you guys. It'll be cool because it'll be something different. I never caught gar before. So we're gonna let Chris here. Yeah, I know, we got two Chris's. We're gonna let Chris here work on rigging it up. He'll give us a little pointers. We're going with a thinner the rope right now. You need, I think this is like nylon rope and you wanna get the twisted stuff. The braided stuff's hard, harder to undo. Um, and so I've just got like basically one of these three pieces of rope that are twisted around each other to make the bigger rope. This kind of little section, I don't know, five, six inches, something like that. You can always cut it if you, if you want to later. But um, I've got a zip tie up here to kind of make a head where you can put the line through it so you can tie it, you know, to, to your, your fishing line. And then everything below that zip tie, you're just going to kind of unravel like this. And then when the gar bites into it, right, uh, those small teeth will get tangled in the rope and they won't be able to shake, shake it loose. There's no hook in this. Um, and I've had plenty of gar come up behind these things and chase them. I've caught one before on this. I'm, I've only caught one, but that's all it takes. It works <laughs> and it's fun. So we're going to see what we can get going, guys. See if maybe we can't catch some gar for you today. That is going to be today's goal, to try and catch some gar. We've already tried doing a popper video for this morning. It didn't work. Now it's mid-afternoon, and the gar start coming out a little more, getting in those hot flats. We've got one around the corner that we think we're going to go try. Let's see. Hopefully, we can get a video for you guys today out on Hartwell catching some gar. All right, guys. So you guys didn't even get to see it because somehow the GoPro had gotten set on photo mode instead of camera mode. So as I hit the record button, all it did was take a picture instead of start recording for you. So, <laughs> but I had a hook, I had one hit setting on it. I like I said, I finally switched to the weightless trick worm, which I should have done a long time ago because I've gotten a couple follows and I finally got a hit. And because I haven't fished the weightless rig in forever, I couldn't really tell he was there. I gave him the old weaky weaky limb sauce and of course didn't get him on the hook set so he's gone never to be seen again the only fish i'll probably get all day i don't know how well you guys can see over here but we have got a little bit of a storm cell moving in on us we've been going at it for a good little bit like i told you guys when we were over at the poker run in the intro and everything we, we we've been going we've been going at it i mean we have been trying grinding but we've been going for gar today. We've been going for some crappy, brim, bass, anything that would hit. It has just been a huff, tough, tough day. Hey guys, he's gonna go Hulk Hogan with his fly set. And he just thought hit himself in the head going Hulk Hogan. Just holding on to the rubber legs of his fly. <laughs> so it's been that day. Short strikes on the fly. Short strikes everywhere. 
I showed you guys that little bit of the review of the Minn Kota Tarova at the boat ramp right there. This is actually a little bit before that in place. Hey, he got a tiny guy. Look, got a little tiny guy during the outro. Wow, he's like almost see-through. He's so small. <laughs> it's like almost see-through. That's been our day. I've had a couple short strikes on the weightless worm. Should have switched to it sooner and I probably would have a fish for you guys. Oh, we did a crazy jump and I wasn't filming for you. Should have pulled it out sooner and I probably would have caught a couple on it. The storm behind us is actually re-brewing, which is kind of scaring me a little. So we might want to get ready to get out of here, which is why we're getting out of here. Hope you guys like that review on the Minn Kota Terrova. Hope you guys like some of those big cigar boats. I know it's getting windy, so I think we're just going to call it here. But it's been fun. It's been Hartwell. That's how it goes. Life's a story. Get out there and live it because you never know how it's going to go. I mean, we came out here to go fishing and we, we, we crashed the poker run. So life's a story, man. You never know how it's going to go. Get out there and live it. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button. I only have more content coming out. So I'm sure you'll like more. And the next content will have some fish catches in it. I promise. Granted, this one had some, but none by me, which sucks. First skunk in months. Peace, y'all.